the experiments are fun because when you start out, you're thinking, how could this be what um, what we're supposed to make? But then as you get along, you start to see, oh, so that we're gonna, so that's what we're making. It's fun. We get to learn. It's, you get to learn and you get to um, have, have fun. fun. We get to do projects you don't get to do everywhere. It was fun and pretty cool. We experimented with it today by putting a noodle that had been soaked in water for about 15 minutes, and then we stuck it in our net, and then we went outside and hung it up in the sun. Uh-oh. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Just scooted in the middle. There we go. Got yourself a noodle. Yeah, he likes to, um talk about how they explain how he does it and he tells me no mom I know how to do this and explain it to me he he likes science a lot they bring home this first thing look mom look what we did and they showed me how it works and everything their little um, spectrogram things they made and their little like she's their little dehydration tent and stuff they were using I believe the program's done everything we've expected and it sure seems to click with her real well uh, he comes home talking about it for about 15 or 20 minutes. She brings it home and she's real excited for us to, to look at it and to tell us what's going on um, and to kind of extend all that information that she's gathered. But since uh, taking this science program, my child has been going to the library, checking out books on science. Um, he's uh, doing his own science things at home. Uh, AKA science is fantastic. It gives students in my district an opportunity to experience science uh, after school in a participatory fashion. They cover real basic, uh, uh, what I call fundamental science concepts that kids need to pick up on. And I just think it, it starts with that inquisitiveness. And, and, and you know, for some students, it's, it's an innate quality. For others, it has to be nurtured and developed. But I think you know, it, it's within us all, you know, for sure. What day is it? Today's Thursday. No, it's Science Day. They're excited to go to school and, and have that extra bonus at the end of the day. I think parents share um, would be when the teacher would give a question to the kids. We have a little signal where they go like this. They think about it and they're quiet. And then they share it with a partner. And then they would share their answer with the whole group. I've been really excited about the program and have even asked what are the next three units that they're going to be doing next year and we've talked about how those will fit into our themes next year and I would love doing it again. I wish all classes were as small as the um, AKA science classes. Um, kids, you can give the kids a lot more information um, when you have smaller classes. To my surprise, after each lesson, they, they were very enthusiastic about coming in, because we had our classes on Thursday, coming in that Friday morning saying, let's change our show and tell, because I want to tell you what I did in my science class. I try to catch kids at all levels of science, uh, just trying to get them to understand that uh, we can all be scientists. Everything you need for each lesson comes in the kit. You have all your materials, um, along with the uh, teacher's guide. The lesson plans were very organized. Uh, the materials, of course, um, are, are, are fantastic. Well, this program fits perfectly under our umbrella of protection for students after school. It's another element uh, that offers students opportunities to keep being involved with adults and positive role models. And uh, it's been an easy organization to work with. Very supportive, constantly calling up, uh, any, any ways we can help you out, uh, any, any questions. But the people are really excited from the kids to the, uh, to the parents to the, to the teachers and myself. We have 23 different countries represented in our school and it's helped us to address what for me for some time has been a, a real concern and that is the underrepresentation of people of color and gender in the areas of science so we get to start early with our youngsters in K through 5 getting them excited about science and aka science has met that need fantastically you need to interest people early in science as a career and if you can get them at the grade school level or earlier, you're far better off. Get people take advantage of the natural curiosity that students have and try to get them interested in science as a career. We think the grade school is the appropriate time to begin at least. By the time they get to college, by the time they get to high school, it's too late perhaps to get the background that you need.
I think the AKA science program has a great deal to offer along the lines of what we need. So we're very supportive of the Columbia Willamette AHEC program and their efforts to bring science to young children. One of the things we've always been concerned about is the number of African Americans, Latinos, Asians, and other people of color and women who have not been in the pipeline to be part of science, math, and engineering. I think one of the things that happens with healthcare, with science and engineering, a lot of people of color and women just don't know the breadth of experience and opportunities that are available. It's about education, it's about employment, it's about equality, it's about who you are, the kind of contributions you can make to your communities, to your society, and to this world. Scientists, I surgery. I'm I want to be a mathematician. People like a doctor that takes care of animals. Paleontologist. A pianist. I want to be a pediatrician. I want to be a scientist. Um, figure things out by myself and then just make them and see how they turn out.